students i believe you have already completed your assignment which was given to you today we will be learning chapter 5 multiples and factors let us learn what are multiples now multiple of a number is equal to the number multiplied by the counting number the counting numbers are 1 2 3 4 5 and so on now to understand better let us take an example of the number 4 and 5 now when you multiply with a counting number you get the product 4 multiplied by 1 is 4 4 multiplied by 2 is 8 4 multiplied by 3 is 12 4 multiplied by 4 is 16 4 multiplied by 5 is 20 so these are all the first five multiples of 4 in the same way when you multiply 5 with the counting number you get the multiples of 5 5 10 15 20 and 25 are the first five multiples of 5 now the next point is a multiple of a number is divisible by the number now let us take any of the multiples from here let us take 20 now 20 is divisible by the number itself 4 5 is 20 so it is divisible now let us take 15 from here now 15 is also divisible by the number itself 5 3 is 15 next point all numbers is a multiple of itself all numbers are multiples of 1 example 2 multiplied by 1 is 2 3 multiplied by 1 is 3 4 multiplied by 1 is 4, 5 multiplied by 1 is 5, and so on. Now, let us see what are common multiples. Let us take an example of multiples of 2 and multiples of 3. Multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and so on. Now, multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24 27 and so on now you see here what are the common multiples 6 and 6 is common 12 and 12 is common 18 and 18 is common so the first three common multiples of 2 and 3 are 6 12 and 18 factors when we multiply two or more number we get a product each number is a factor of the product now let us take an example of two numbers that is 5 and 6 when we multiply 5 and 6 we get a product 30 so 5 and 6 is a factor of 30 now 30 is the multiple of 5 and 6 now let us see how to find the factors of a given number now let us take an example of 30 now you have to think of any two numbers which when multiply you get the product 30 now when 1 is multiplied with 30 we get the product 30 when 2 is multiplied with 15 we get the product 30 and 3 when multiplied with 10 we get the product 30 now is there any number which when multiplied with 4 we get a product 30 no we there is no such number now 5 5 when multiplied by 6 we get 30 in the same way 6 when you multiply with 5 you get 30 and so on so these are the possible factors of 30 so the factors of 30 are 1 2 3 5 6 10 15 and 30 now students open your book with me to exercise 5.1 page number 49 read the first question write the first five multiples of five now i have already taught you how to find the multiples of a number now you have to multiply five with the counting number first five counting number five ones is five five twos is ten five threes is fifteen five fours is twenty five fives is twenty five so the first five multiples of five are five ten fifteen twenty and twenty five now let us see question number six write the first four common multiples of the following let us solve question number a so first write the multiples of both eight and twelve so multiples of eight are eight 
and so on. Now multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, 96 and so on. Now you see here what are the common multiples here. 24 is common, 48 is common, 72 is common, 96 is common. So the first four common multiples of 8 and 12 are 24, 48, 72 and 96. Now see question number 9. Write three factors of the following numbers other than 1 and the number itself. So we cannot write 1 and the number itself. So first let us solve A, 16. So think of a number which when multiplied you get the product 16. So 2 A is 16. Is there any number which when multiplied with 3 you get the product 16? No. So the next number is 4, 4, 4 za is 16. Since we are asked to find only 3 factors, we will write 2, 4 and 8. So the 3 factors of 16 are 2, 4 and 8. Okay. Now let us solve question number D, 165. Now 165 is a bigger number, so it might be difficult for you to think of a two number which when multiplied you get the product 165 so what you do is you directly divide 165 uh, say 3 3 5 is 15 1 then 5 comes down so 3 5 is 15 so it goes with 3 so 355 is 160 5. So let us see with another number that is 5. 5 threes are is 15. 5 threes are is 15. So it goes with 5. 5 33 is 165. So since we are all asked to find only 3 factors, so we already got 3 factors that is 3, 5, 33. 55 but we are supposed to write only three factors so the three factors are 3 5 33 so you can write any of the factors now these are the sums try solving at home now your home assignment will be given in the school website please go through it and solve the given sums. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.